Let's open our Bibles to Daniel chapter 9. I told Bonnie on the way over as we were riding through this beautiful, gentle rain in upstate New York, I said, Daniel 9 is one of the most beautiful chapters in the Bible. Number one, it has, I mean, uh, hands down, everyone agrees, the greatest prophecy in the Bible that connects everything. By the way, if you believe there's going to be a seven-year tribulation, you only believe that because it's here. It's the only place that says it's seven years long, only place in the whole Bible. So you understand, this is huge to understand prophecy. But beyond that, Daniel chapter 9 is really the key to understanding all Bible study, and, and it gives us the correct perspective to understand the Bible. And thirdly, it's, it's where if you've ever been in a church and they had like a concert of prayer and they did the adoration, confession, thanksgiving, supplication, you know, the ACTS model. I mean, it used to be popular like in the 80s and 90s. Um, that model is from chapter 9. I mean, this is, this is such a, an important chapter that this is the only prophet that talks about prophecy that Jesus names by name, Daniel. And it's just, I mean, it's astounding. It's this chapter Jesus refers to. So this must have been one of Jesus' favorite chapters too. So what we're going to see is Jesus said in Matthew 24 and verse 15, if we were doing Matthew 24, that a temple is going to be operating in the city of Jerusalem at the start of the tribulation. Do you know how the tribulation starts? The Antichrist makes a deal. The, you know, Antichrist, we kind of think of him as against Christ. He's really not as much against Christ as in place of Christ. He's the Jesus everybody always wanted. Who wants the real Jesus? I mean, he talks about sin and hell and everything that, about the holiness of God, not the Antichrist. Uh, he's the Jesus everybody's comfortable with. Whatever you want to do, you can do it as long as you worship him. And, and, and he's going to be tied to everything people want to worship anyway if you study the book of Daniel. He's the, the Antichrist is the god of forces. It says he has, he's a man. He has no desire for women. What do you call that? That's very popular nowadays. That's called homosexuality. I mean, he is a, an ecology person, a god of forces, a mother earth lover and all that, and he is into the new liberated sexuality, pansexuality or whatever, and he's going to be able to solve everything. He's going to solve the, the ecology issue. He's going to solve the financial, the food insecurity. He solves everything. He's the Jesus everybody wanted. Not that one that bothered everybody and died, but the one that does everything we need briefly. And once he rises, he's just ruthless. He's kind of like a combination of uh, Stalin, who purged, you know, millions in Russia, and, and Mao Zedong that killed, what, 50 million, and Hitler. And you just put all those together in the most winsome personality you could think of. I don't know who you think is most winsome. Let's see, uh, you know, some maybe movie star or maybe, you know, I guess currently it's the star of Yellowstone. He is the most popular show, so maybe Kevin Costner. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Just think of the most winsome person and put into them the skill to solve all of Earth's problems, and they become the Jesus everybody wanted. And then they just squeeze the life out of this planet. So chapter 9, uh, we're going to look at this. And what this is, is by the way, uh, I'm, I get the privilege of teaching three sessions. And then I understand, I was looking at the schedule and I found out I have a q and A. I I didn't even see that. That's going to be fun. I think I've set it at 6 a.m. tomorrow, so... So none of you would be here. Now I'm teasing. It's whatever it is. But I get to teach three times and everyone asks me and I'll solve for you why I'm not here on Thursday. Thursday is the, the gathering of the board of directors of Word of Life. We're all the separate boards, you know, the Bible Institute board and, and uh, everything else all meets in pieces. But the whole board meets all day Thursday from 7.30 a.m. to like 2 something in the afternoon, so I won't be here. But we're looking at three sessions that I teach as Bonnie and I go around the world, and I teach the 52 greatest chapters in the Bible. You're learning three of them. Yesterday we looked at Ezekiel 36, 37, 38, and 39. And I'm so glad I don't have to be in a hurry today. Isn't that a blessing? It'll help you. They told me that they're going to flash on the screen when my 45 minutes are up, 
in little increments, so I'm preparing to slow down and stop. So I haven't seen a thing yet, so I must still be at 45 minutes, but uh, uh, it's going, there's some kind of counter right down here for your benefit so you don't miss lunch. Uh, but that address right there, I just want to tell you about that. A wonderful foundation in, uh, thank you, 39 minutes, 33 seconds. You are so quick back there. Um, there's a foundation, a, a Christian business, one of the largest privately owned Christian businesses in America, uh, have godly Christian founders and I, I got to be a part of discipling their executive committee, and they said, we love the study you did with us so much, we're going to pay for you to put it on the internet. And I said, wow, what a blessing. And so they are codifying, putting in order everything I've ever taught as courses with the video, with the slides, and with everything I say in a study guide, and it's all free and it's right there. They just call it Discover the Book Ministry Academy. That's what the little A is, Academy. They said your stuff is just too hard to figure out what's next. And, and they said, we want it in order. I said, great. And so they're slowly coming out, and this course was the first one, the 52 greatest chapters. So all of you that are going like this with your phones, and you go, oh, he changed it too quick, and I didn't get it. They're already online for you, and you can do a screenshot and sit at home eating popcorn and not be stressed. So.